hey, can we collaborate together? Did you answer yes? Because you need to. Because what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna chat about how to create epic collaborations. And if you answered no, keep watching because I wanna help guarantee how you can land collaborations that will change your business. But in case you're anything like me, you might be thinking, sure, Jasmine, this sounds like a fine idea, but I just don't have time to hang out in person or in an online group when I just need to build my business. This is when I respond to that and I say, listen, I know exactly what it feels to evaluate my time. We often weigh time against how long it would take to make a healthy breakfast or just microwave a Hot Pocket. Come on, I am not the only person who has microwaved a Hot Pocket for breakfast, okay? I also know what it's like to weigh time against sleeping a little bit longer or going on a run. Time is the most precious thing to us, so we protect it, often wondering, like, are we spending it in the right way? So I get it when business owners debate whether it's worth it to participate in Facebook groups or reach out to other small business owners on LinkedIn or organize a giveaway on Instagram. I totally understand why people feel this way, but I quickly learned that feeling is not important as action. It's when we take action that we can find out what's working and how we can create more wins along the way. So I've seen this in my business and in the businesses of Social Curator members. They use collaborations to grow the most and the fastest when they work together. So I'm a huge fan of creating win-wins for everyone involved and today I want to teach you exactly how to find people to collaborate and benefit your business and then you help theirs. I recommend collaborating frequently, like at minimum once a quarter or even once a month if you can make it happen. So how exactly could you organize your own collaboration? Well, the first step is to brainstorm the types of businesses in your industry or maybe in like a similar industry that you work with that have the same ideal client. You guys are both trying to attract the same client. Why? Because a win-win collaboration with another business owner will help both of you make more sales and get more followers. So you need to have the same customer. So for example, if you're a boutique owner that sells clothes for young women, other businesses that serve the same demographic might be makeup artists, nail salons, life coaches, hairstylists, things like that. What I want you to do is make a list of these types of businesses and soon you'll be ready to move forward onto step number two. And that's actually finding the people you want to collaborate with. If you're a member of Social Curator, I definitely welcome you to comment in our weekly collaboration thread to connect network and collaborate with business owners. But if you are not in Social Curator, you can still find your dream collaboration on social media. So for instance, on Instagram, start by searching for hashtags within your industry that other business owners may use. On LinkedIn, check out your friends' connections to see if anyone appears to be within your industry. And on Facebook, search through some industry-specific Facebook groups. That's where you're gonna find it. Now let's get into the final step. Once you've found a few business owners that you could potentially collaborate with, I want you to contact them and come up with a mutually beneficial collaboration idea and then do it. It is three simple steps. So speaking of the three simple steps and trying to get the right collaborations, I wanna give you 10 collaboration ideas to spark inspiration for your next collaboration and a checklist to help keep your efforts on track. You can find that at jasminestar.com forward slash collaboration and there you can download my free guide, how to collaborate with another business owner. These are the exact steps that I use to create really positive collaborations that have changed my life and business. So let's recap. To find somebody to collaborate with, you're gonna follow the following steps. Step one, make a list of five to 10 types of businesses that you're working with the same ideal client. Step two is locate them on social media. And step three is to contact them and come up with a mutually beneficial collaboration idea by using the 10 ideas you find at jasminestar.com forward slash collaboration. I can't wait to see how you take these tips to elevate your brand, get more sales, and build relationships to create win-win opportunities for you, another business owner, and your dream customers. So, are you ready to collaborate? Comment below with what you do and who you serve. And then maybe your next win-win lies in the comment section below.